Copilot in Excel slowly but growing and evolving through time. So let's dig in and see how you can use Copilot in Excel in your daily work. In this video, I will dig in into the capabilities of Copilot in Excel, how you can analyze the data, how you can format and structure the records inside your Excel files and also how Copilot could help you to prepare and analyze, understand formulas used in your Excel spreadsheet. This is part of the series of the videos where I dig in, in into the details of Copilot across Microsoft 365. So if you want to get more videos like that, please leave the thumbs up, subscription, or if you have any questions, use the comment section. Now I will switch to my screen and I will show you how you can use Copilot in Excel to work with your data. Prepare your data for Copilot. Before you will start to work with Copilot in the preview mode, so this is also quite important, you need to remember that this is not the final version of Copilot in Excel. Probably this is also not the beta version, but this is something in the middle. So still this product is during the evolution. So be aware of that, that probably in the future it will grow and change a lot with new additional features. But before we will start to use it, I want to highlight that you need to prepare your data. If you will have some kind of exported data from the system, you need to format the data proper way to be sure that Copilot will be able to work with it. So first of all, you need to format it as a table. You have two ways, create format as a table approach for your data. And remember to select my table has a header you can also insert the table directly from the insert menu section or style it that will follow some rules. This is quite complex list of requirements. So if you want to make this smooth right, just format your data as a table. In the description of the video, you will also find other recommendations if for some reasons using the table will not be available for you. Analyze your data with Copilot. Copilot in Excel will help you to do the analysis of your data. If you will go to the understand section, it will analyze the repository of the records that you have gathered in your Excel file and will create some kind of basic analysis that will allow you to go through that data. You will also be able to see that there is some kind of statement about AI generated content that may be, be incorrect. So remember, generative AI could hallucinate, but at the same time, you can always double check the results. So you get the graph representing the data based on the customer. So let's add this section as a new sheet and you can get the pivot table that will show you the analysis of the customers based on the thousands of sales. So what happened? Copilot did the structure of our data, summarized the totals and built the report to group that data. You can see this is not very complex analysis of the data that we have here, but still, if you're starting with your data, you have to gather some information, Copilot could really speed up your work just to create new pivot table and prepare some basic analysis that you can use in the next step. So even this basic pivot chart table could really help you to visualize which customers delivered biggest revenue and also where the margin is the biggest, which could help you to speed up your first steps with your data that you need to structure in Excel. Moreover, you can ask Copilot to deliver you some interesting findings. In this case, we can see that Q4 upside from perspective of the data for the specific customer is significantly bigger than for other customers on your list. Moreover, you can ask your copilot few times and check if some kind of analysis could pop up as an example of interesting findings 
from perspective of that data. And you can see maybe this is not something that will resolve all your problems, but at the beginning when you're starting to analyze some reports or exported data, some findings that AI could pop up to you could help you to start your work with that data. Format data in your Excel. This functionality could be quite useful, especially when you're starting your work with Excel in general. You can format and style your data in Excel using formulas instead of conditional formatting or any other features. So to give you the example, by one click, Copilot could bulge your data from perspective of the first column, especially that you have no idea how to do it. So Copilot will deliver the solution and then you can apply it for your data. Again, if you are Excel expert, probably this feature will not be a game changer for you. But at the same time, if you're starting your work with Excel, that kind of feature could be really valuable. You can also ask Copilot to format your columns using something like conditional formatting, but in this case you don't have to build any rules, you can just ask Copilot to do that for you. Moreover, you will see exactly the setup which will be applied, how it will look like, and when you will be ready you can apply that change. You can see the biggest values from perspective of the net value was highlighted by Copilot. Again, we're talking here about 20 records. If we will talk about much bigger volume of the data, sometimes this feature could be quite useful. For instance, you can build the scale for your data just without any, let's say, structure, but asking Copilot to group your records based on the best applicable conditional formatting. And when you will apply it, you will see that the data will be grouped based on the results. And again, you can see this is ultra fast model of formatting of your data. Again, if you are master of Excel, probably this will not change the way how you work, but you, when you're starting, this could really speed up your starting point. Build formulas with Copilot. Another great feature that will help new users of the Excel could be automatic generation of formulas. Even if you have the data that maybe you don't fully understand, you can ask Copilot to recommend you some kind of formulas that will bring some insights from the data you have there, maybe structure it a little better. And what you can see, Copilot by itself recommend you to create the column that will summarize total upside from four quarters. You can see the structure, moreover, you can see the explanation for the formula and when you will be ready, you can add this column to your Excel spreadsheet and you can exactly see what kind of formulas are used in here. Again, if you never done that before, this is super useful, but moreover, maybe you have very complex Excel spreadsheet with formulas already used. You can also ask Copilot to, to tell you how it works. And if you're working with Excel and you want to extend the capabilities of it and somebody will tell you, okay, use file lookup formula to do that proper way, but you have no idea how VLOOKUP works, you can also ask Copilot to explain you how to use that kind of VLOOKUP formula to prepare you better. So you don't have to Google up some possibility. You have clear understanding, clear description in details, how to use that kind of formula and what kind of example for the business perspective it will help you. Again, if you are Excel export, you already know that, but if you're starting to work with Excel, Excel formulas, Copilot could really speed up your work. As you can see, Copilot in Excel is maybe not yet prepared to make you the expert of the Excel. Moreover, if you have a lot of knowledge across Excel, probably Copilot will not make a huge change, 
But remember, this is a preview version, so still there is a lot ahead of us in the area of what Copilot in Excel will be capable to do. Right now you can see there's a lot of scenarios when you have the users that starting to work with Excel, Copilot could really help them to speed up their work, do the analysis of the data faster, moreover create format and structure the Excel data without huge knowledge about Excel itself. I hope this video helped you to understand Copilot in Excel better. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.